And now a message from our Chief of Police, David Rouse. First of all, I want to apologize for not being able to be there in person. Uh, I, I want to congratulate SOS on their uh, very first uh, publication and uh, one of, of many, I'm sure, uh, into the future. And I want to say specifically to the young people who contributed to this awesome piece of art. And uh, I want to say congratulations. Uh, we're extremely proud of you, uh, especially uh, for what it took to put this together. Uh, pouring your hearts and souls, literally, uh, into this publication and expressing uh, what everyone in our community is feeling uh, as a result of these horrible tragedies that we've experienced uh, recently. And, uh, you know, the lives of the three young people that, that uh, have really precipitated this, this uh, movement that, uh, that you are on the front edge of is, uh, is something that, uh, one, is we need to, to honor and remember each of these young people, uh, as well as all of those who have lost their lives to violence. And so, number one, I want to say uh, thank you uh, to each of you. Uh, you are going to make a difference. You are making a difference in our community. Uh, as I have seen you uh, at the prayer walks, uh, wearing those, those wonderful shirts that say love is the answer, and, and you're, you're absolutely on the right path. Uh, you're exactly right. The way that we are going to make a difference, uh, number one, is with you. The youth. You are the future of this community. You are the future of this state, the future of, of the United States. And so, so for uh, the, the wonderful things that you are doing uh, from me personally, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I, I do want to help you understand um, the work that you're doing, how meaningful it is. It, it's, it's important that you understand that. And, uh, and, and the fact that it comes uh, from your heart is, is what makes it so much more meaningful. Uh, I, I know the lives that you are uh, honoring, uh, specifically the lives of Xavier, Sydney, and Juwan. Uh, those lives uh, were cut down so early. And uh, much like yourselves, they had talent that they could have shared, continued to share. Uh, with our community and, uh, and so now it's on you and you are taking it and running with it and, and, I, and I honor you and praise you for that and so thank you, thank you for what you're doing. Continue to focus your efforts and your energy in positive ways like you're doing. Too many have chosen at your age to do it in the other direction, to go the wrong way, to use uh, their their energies and uh, and their their emotions uh, to strike out in violent acts, and that is not the way to go. Uh, as as your logo has has, has uh, impressed upon me, love is the answer. Uh, you know you, you don't you don't hate, uh, and, and you know seeing others from another side of town just because they're from another side of town doesn't make them different than you. Uh, we're all family, and, and especially in a community like Knoxville, where we're such a small community that we know each other, we know each other's families. Uh, what I've seen time and time again in these senseless acts of violence is, is families torn apart because there's connections. And so, so what you're doing absolutely is going to bind this community together, so keep up the great work. Stay focused and, and keep doing what you're doing. Use your talent, use the arts to help others understand and, and to, to work their way through these, these very difficult and very sad situations. Uh, I also want to say to Zenobia, I know uh, she is there today, and, uh, and Zenobia, you know uh, how much I, I, I think of you. You know how great uh, of, of an individual and a representative uh, that, that you are uh, for those who have lost their children to violence. And uh, to you, I want to say, uh, God bless you. Uh, keep, keep up the strong work that you're doing. Uh, keep showing the great faith that you show. And, uh, and you know that I am here for you anytime you need me. And, 
uh, and and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna win this. And uh, with with great young people like we're honoring today, we're gonna show uh, this community that there is so much good in it. And so uh, again, I want to say congratulations uh, to to the young people for this great publication, and uh, and God bless to each other. so excited to introduce the Souls Lyrically Said book. It is now published. Um, I'm going to read a little bit of the book and what it says. It says, um, the Souls Writing Center is excited to introduce one of the many books from our youth and adults who enjoy writing. This has truly been a journey and many of our youth are heard and seeking an outlet to express themselves. Since the deaths of Xavier Dobson, Sidney Jackson, and Jawan Latham, our youth have a desire to rise above the violence and be a voice in their communities. They are not going to be afraid of bullies and those who try to instill fear in our communities. We thank you for your support of youth writers and anyone who has the desire to write and express their feelings either through art, dance, or song. Souls Writing Center has a mission to have a compilation book of various writers around the world. If you can write, we want it. God bless Zenobia Dotson and all of the parents who have a deceased child. This is dedicated to the children left behind for us to carry on their memory in our hearts forever. Special thanks to Honey Rock Victoria's Church International for their sponsorship from the David Upton Scholarship Foundation of 10 students. I just want to personally say that I love all you kids. I'm very proud of you and this is just the beginning. We're on our way right now booking our book tour, coming to a bookstore, a library, and a church, and a college, and a school near you soon. Thank you so much for your support. And if you haven't gotten your copy, they're $20. And um, we will be having a sale. They'll be discounted for $15 at, our, at the next book signing. So please get connected. And thank you again. And God bless.